In New York City, uh, we have another story to update you on here. One person dead, seven others injured, an explosion in the Bronx that leveled a three-story residential building. We have newly released body camera video, quite dramatic, showing police officers pull an injured woman out of her flaming home. But let me get to the man who has that video, national correspondent Paul Gerke, in front of where the building once stood. Paul. You can watch that video for yourself unedited on the NYPD Twitter account if you don't want to hear me talk about it. But it is some of the most compelling body cam video I've ever seen. We know at this point that the explosion killed a 77-year-old woman and severely injured her 82-year-old sister. It also more or less collapsed the living room of the woman living next door. Thankfully, the NYPD's 41st precinct is very close to here, just a few blocks away. Officers say they could not only see the flames shooting out of that home, but they heard and felt the explosion. And by the time they arrived on the scene of the structure that once stood behind me, it was obvious there was someone inside who needed help. Officers sprint toward the flames as bystanders call for help. Somebody is trapped in the building next door. We could hear her, but we couldn't identify where exactly she was until we jumped into the living room. Right there, she's on the couch. Mere seconds after arriving on the scene, with the assistance of a man who rushed in off the street to help, they find a woman trapped in the rubble of what was once her living room. Over here, over here. Once we move the sofa and the couch, we We've seen flames, so we had to act quick because we don't know if it was going to collapse on us as well. The 68-year-old woman is pulled out just in time. She's now in serious but stable condition. The building was critically damaged. Crews demolished it Tuesday night. New York City Mayor Eric Adams is praising the efforts of his police department, saying they undoubtedly saved lives. And Adrian, the most striking thing to me about that body cam video is that it's only a minute and 15 seconds long. Imagine being a police officer running up to a scene and having about a minute to pull somebody severely injured out of a burning building. That's how quick these life-saving decisions are made. Yeah, and we are thankful. We are thankful there are people who are trained to move quickly in those situations. Paul, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.